Are you tired of fiddling around in the dark not being able to find that light switch? Or are you simply too lazy to get off your butt and turn on that fan? Hey mom, can you turn on the fan? It's really hot inside. Well hey, not a problem anymore. I introduce to you the clap switch. Control lights, fans, or any other appliances with a simple clap. Hi guys, it's Max here. I know I haven't been posting a little while since I've been struggling with three other projects which I haven't quite managed to finish yet. So anyway, in this video I'll show you how to make your own clap switch to automate pretty much any appliance or function in your house like turning on a light, fan, anything like that with something as simple as a clap. This circuit uses two chips known as the 741 op amp IC and the CD4017 decade counter IC. Just before this tutorial starts, let's take a look at my sponsor. This video is sponsored by NextPCB.com, a PCB manufacturer located in China. Let's take a quick look at their website and what they do. NextPCB offers high quality printed circuit boards for your electronics projects. You can send them your finished PCB design in a Gerber file form and get a quote. Get your trial PCB order today for free and only pay for shipping. NextPCB also ships PCBs and assembled projects all over the world. Do consider trying out NextPCB for your next project which may require a printed circuit board. So without further ado, let's make this circuit on a breadboard. The first thing you're going to want to do is put all the components into the breadboard like so. Now I'll explain to you the connections. A 1K resistor connects the left pin of the potentiometer to the ground rail. A 1K resistor connects pin 6 of the 741 op amp to the ground rail. Connect the right and middle pin of the potentiometer together. The right pin of the potentiometer connects with pin 3 of the op amp. The negative pin of the electret mic goes to the ground rail. The positive microphone pin goes to pin 2 of the op amp. Connects pin 4 of the 741 IC with pin 8 of the CD4017. And then connect it to ground. Pin 13 of the decade counter goes to the upper ground rail. Pin 14 of the decade counter connects with pin 6 of the op amp. On the decade counter chip, connect pin 4 straight to pin 15. A 1.5K resistor connects the LED's cathode to the ground rail. And the anode of the LED goes to pin 3 of the decade counter. The positive rail connects up with the green LED's anode. The marked end of the 4007 diode goes to the positive rail. The unmarked end of the diode connects with the collector pin of the transistor. A 1K resistor connects the middle pin of the BC547 transistor to pin 2 of the decade counter. Pin 16 of the decade counter chip connects with the positive rail. Now it's time to connect the upper positive rail with the lower positive rail and vice versa with the ground rails. Pin 7 of the op amp IC connects with the positive rail. Since my breadboard consists of two adjoined breadboards, I better bridge the connections. Now we're done with making this clap switch circuit on a breadboard. Time to hook up a 9 volt battery to it. Keep in mind that the polarities of the battery should match up with what's said on the breadboard. Anyway, let's test it out. In order to make this circuit more practical, we must add a relay so that we can control turning on and off a light bulb.
connect the two relay wires to each side of the 4007 diode. Connect one wire from the 110 volts input cable to the common relay pin. Then solder a wire coming from one end of the light bulb socket to the NC or normally closed relay pin. And the other wire that sticks out of the AC input cable goes to the other wire that points out of the light bulb socket. So over here, nextpcb.com also sent me a box of three different PCBs. One of them just happens to be the clap switch circuit that we just made on the breadboard. It even has my channel name engraved in it. Hmm, very fancy. <laughs> so let me show you the clap switch circuit that I just showed you how to make on a breadboard, but in PCB form. During the designing process, I did forget a couple of connections, which are pin 13 of the decade counter goes to ground, and pin 7 of the op amp IC goes to the positive rail. For any of you who are confused about whether the AC voltage affects this uh, DC circuit over here, and it doesn't since the relay has an electromagnetic coil which flicks the switch inside to control whether the AC voltage is on or off. It's much more sensitive now when I tune the potentiometer over here on the left. So right now I'm not going to tamper with it because it's at that perfect uh, resistance. It's a variable resistor, another way to call a potentiometer or trimmer. So I trimmed it to uh, the right amount and now it works great. Alright guys, that's your wrap it up for this video showing you how to make your very own clap switch circuit to automate pretty much any part of your home. Anything like a fan or a lamp can be simply turned on with a clap or the flick of your fingers. If you enjoyed this video, I would much appreciate if you give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel with the notification bell ticked not to miss any of my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Peace!